Hello Internet, Pigmon D here and today is the first episode of my first ever Let's Play and this is Let's Play Dragonfin Soup by Grimbros. Uh, now this is a game I backed on Kickstarter. It's pretty cool, it's got a, a lovely style to it. There are a few bugs including one quite common one that corrupts save files but we won't worry about that, it's being patched very very soon. I'm recording this just a couple of days after the game was released. Uh, so hopefully by the time you're playing the game, it'll have been patched. Okay, let's drop straight. Okay, this I like, this, the universe. Every every level, every dungeon in Dragonfin Soup is created by uh, it's procedurally generated and the random seed for that is this universe name here. Now you can type in anything you like. Uh... <coughs> not sponsored. I'm actually not. But... Kinda hoping that Aero Call will give me some free stuff. Maybe I could do a case review for them. Okay, so let's try that one. But basically, if you type the same word in here, you'll get the same layouts in all your levels. Once upon a time, it was a great dragon turtle god, Ashera, swimming the vast cosmos of the multiverse. Upon its back was born a world of magic and wonderment. <coughs> this quilt. <coughs> this quilt. <coughs> They will be our tales of law. Let's do this. Okay, so the game is going to drop us straight in to some random area. There's a couple of NPCs following us around, these two guys. I'm not going to read out all the text, but feel free. Okay, this first area, I'm just going to run through kind of quickly because I know what's coming. enemies okay and basically at the moment looking for as many enemies as I can find and just um, just gonna quickly tweak my volume settings because uh, let's play arrow call. Cool. 
hopefully the volume's a little bit better now. Okay, so what I'm doing, I I kind of know I'm screwed at this level. Any spoilers, but I'm not going to be doing well on this level. So my objective is really to run around, get as much loot as I can. And find as many toys as I can. game is letting me do on this level is it's going to let me have a bit of a play and get comfortable with moving and then a scripted event is going to happen. And it's not far off now. But while I wait I'm just going to look for treasure. I could be doing a lot of things around it. I could be destroying blocks, pick up wood and stuff like that. Uh, Leaf, Slaughtered Earth Spirit. Ah, okay. ah, there we go. Scripted event, so let's move. No! <laughs> so this guy is a real asshole. Uh, we don't know his level, but... Judging by his HP, he is a little bit tougher than we are. Bastard. Okay, you follow me into the woods dressed up like a target. Yeah. Killed my family and burned my home. You're a total cliche. Uh, okay, I want that weapon. I'm gonna pick that up. Not even gonna pick that up. The bad guy. No point. This fight is kind of scripted, there's not a lot you can do. But eventually this guy is gonna kill And he's gonna kill Boris. And now we get surrounded by skeletons. I'm gonna try killing a couple of these guys because there is some kind of cool things that can happen. Oh no, I'm dead. Okay, so this is just a dream, right? <laughs> right? Just a dream? Maybe. Maybe this is just a dream. I don't believe that. Not for a second. Yay! Right. So. I keep having this nightmare over and over. Always the same dream and it feels so real. Woof. Yeah, I hear ya. Talk to your pets. Woof woof. I need a drink and it looks like we ran out of dog food again. Come on, let's go to the tavern and see if Jin has any work for... Woof woof woof. Okay, visit the tavern and talk to Jin. Our first quest! Okay, let's go. But before we go and do that quest, uh, let's ha explore our house and naturally destroy it! Ding, ding, ding. 
bronze rings. <laughs> Destroy the sink. And who needs to? Who needs to wash the hands? I mean, there's no toilet here. Oh, bombs! I like bombs. Not forget that one. Oh, and some red star rum. Can't destroy the sofa. There's a little chest here. This is the story, uh, extra storage. Uh, but we don't need that right now because we have a decent size inventory as it is. I don't know why, but um, the loading screens don't seem to be picked up while I'm recording. Okay, go to the tavern and talk to Jin. Let's find the tavern. So the town is going to be a different shape every time you use a different world seed. So you're going to have to explore a bit. The town is never going to be massive. There's certain things that are always included. Uh, like these. These are teleporters if I go on here. We should not leave town yet. Let's go to town and talk to the barkey Jin. Have a wander around. There's got to be a place to drink around here somewhere. Oh, crates in the way. I learned a new recipe and I got fined. Yes, this game, if you damage property in a public area, you will get, you have to pay for it. Which kind of seems really simple, uh, and it's like, oh, just, just don't attack things in friendly areas. Uh, but as you'll see as we progress a bit, it's not always that simple. Well, here's the marketplace, some non-humans here. Wish they'd go back to the country they came from bastards. I'm not actually racist, it's a joke. Goddamn immigrants. Okay, so here's an, a nice little armory. I talk to Falco. I don't give a rat's fart. Well, good for you. Come on, I haven't had a drink all day. Is that it? Ah, cock and ball. Let's go in. Let's go talk to Jin. See if we can finish quest number one, which is talk to Jin. Really hard. Before we talk to Jin, though, I'm just going to run up here in the tavern. Uh, I'm going to grab all this free alcohol from Jin's storeroom. That's some cheap rum. Okay, and talk to Jin. Hi, Jin. Great to see you sober for a change. I'm not sober. I demand a drink. Look who's talking, you Kurnai bastard. Pour me a double. This isn't a charity. You still have an unpa unpaid tab? Well, I don't have any money. But I have negative money because I owe a fine. Oh, shit. Creepy McBastards are about to, come to run in. Love that guy. Okay, let's talk to Bill. They are here to kill us. I don't run, motherfucker. Slow down, Bill. Take a deep breath and tell us what happened. Hmm. Broad daylight. And with the Academy of Arms being on a field trip too. How convenient. Is that a cat on the... I think that's a cat. Need work, just ask. Okay, oh, there's money on the bar. Sorry, dear, no free drinks. Oh, I can't pick up the money. Okay, let's go outside. Now, we can't see much when we're zoomed in, but this world is really pretty, so I'm going to stay zoomed in while I'm around the town. Alright, so let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, see if we can find these find these enemies. You see the town is now on fire! Uh, and there's nobody here that lit the fire. Uh, oh, a zombie! Well, that was easy. Big Bad is actually pretty tough for the early game, for the first couple of levels. Uh, I want to go through there, but I don't want to get fine. 
Oh, little girl, shouldn't you be hiding? Um, unshaved Gina. Oh, beautiful. Gina, you're so beautiful. Did she just throw her face at Big Bad? <laughs> Can't have any more of that. Don't you throw your face at my pet. Okay, he kinda looks like one of the undead, but this is actually a friendly guy. Um, cool. Something went squishy. I can't decide. I want to kill. Big Bad terminated that guy before I even had a chance to react. Big Bad kicks ass. Okay, no one here. Should check. Probably check my map. Here we go. About to run into somebody. Let's see if she throws her face at Big Bad again. Somebody's here. Oh, let's not kill that tree. Oh, it's just a bug. Let's find this last zombie. Hello, zombie. Where are you hiding? He's ran away. There he is. See, Big Bad can take care of this. Uh, another zombie down here. And I'm going to quickly show you why uh, property damage is sort of relevant. Okay. Come on. Come get me, skeleton. So I used an AoE spell there, you see. But I kind of hope to get the skeleton, but... Um, I destroyed a barrel at the same time. Uh, okay. So you might be getting to points in the game where you think, oh, okay, I'll um, I'll kick some ass with my awesome spell, AOE spells, and just wipe everybody out. But uh, it's not that simple because if you're in a public area like this, uh, you can catch. You basically, you're going to do some damage by accident and get fined for it. Okay, let's go talk to Jin again. Jin's a good guy. Hey, Jin. The town guards are back now. <laughs> good timing. One and a half years ago, on a very stormy night, the undead attacked the village. No one got hurt. The guards fought them off at the break of, at the break of dawn. Gidron found you half dead out there in the woods with your head banged and oh, pretty good. What a coincidence! And the nightmares are back now. Maybe your memories will start coming. Oh, I suspect that our memories are going to start coming back in the near future. But for now, Jin, I need work. I was just thinking of you. Are you dirty bastard. Attack by some creatures on a fishing tour. This is one of the things I really like about this game. Um, there are certain scripted story missions to it, but there's also uh, randomized missions. So every time you play through, it's not just that the areas you go to are going to be different, the, or, uh, the missions you get are going to vary as well. So, go kill all the critters. Easy. Uh. Okay, let's go. Find a portal. So now we want to find one of those big glowy orb things. Hello, glowy orb. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, come on. No, I saw them so... Fuck are you Ah there we go. So let's jump in that. 
Okay, so now we get this this world map, which we can zoom out, and this is the turtle god. We have a moon that follows it and a sun that follows it. And let's go to Cherbury Marshes. Okay, here we are. Completely random area here. I'm going to run around a little bit. See if I can find anything interesting. Oh, there's loot. I'll pick up that loot. Oh, picked up obsidian. Nice. Ah, there's some loot. Fox crown ab hit rim. Where's rim? Okay, there's a fox crown up there, and I can hear somebody fighting. So let's kill this guy. Ooh, that didn't do much damage. Big bad missed him. Oh, bad. Okay, now that the crab is targeting me, I'm gonna back off and let Big Bad tank the damage. Because that's what pets are for, right? Oh, it's a trap! You know what? Screw you. And got an onion. Okay, this. This is a nice little cool feature. This features in a lot of the randomly generated levels. Remember this? Um... They kind of just look like squiggles, but they are sort of runic keys. We'll find these later. In a public area, we can destroy whatever we like. We can also hear battle going on. So there's somebody fighting nearby. But let's kill this guy first. Dodge while he's sleeping. I call bullshit. Okay, as you notice, every time I move or take a turn, I'm healing a little bit. So I'm kind of. I could use potions to heal, but I'm taking my time and looking for loot. Because it's, you know, the loot is not that valuable, but it gives me a chance to heal. Ooh, alcohol. Sweet, sweet alcohol. Okay, so. Ooh, teleport. Okay, so these red squares are switches that make things appear, which are sometimes traps. They will literally, someti sometimes they will literally just spawn a trap. Most of the time you get something nice. I'm going to progress a little bit more quickly now. Because I am on full health at the moment. Okay, so that enemy, that giant pig guy, is running away from Big Bad. Sometimes when en when you do a decent amount of damage to enemies, they'll get scared and lose. Okay, again, I want to heal, so I'm taking my time to farm. I'm just looking for items. Uh, got leaks in the straw. It's a bit boring, but this game can be quite hard even on the earlier levels, so it's kind of worth it. These, I have no idea what these do. It's not in the manual, and I've not found any reference in the game to what they do yet. So let's go back to just running. Oh, at rooms. Now usually when you find these, they'll be they'll all be in close proximity to each other. So I'm just 
just gonna clear out all this, all the grass near the rune. Usually, in close proximity. Not always. Uh, is that? Ah, here we are. One there. Well, let's kill this this quest monster first. Okay, and I have level one. Okay, so don't quite remember the combination. That's not it. I think the heart shape piece. Is next. Yep. Then it was the three lines. Nope. This is one thing I think um, they need to change slightly about the game. It needs to punish you more for just guessing the rune. Okay, uh, so that one then the line. And then the big one. I have no idea what that means. I'm guessing it has spawned me. Nice loop somewhere. Ah, yes. wonderful. Now, if you if you're out in the way and you've got time, uh, it's usually a good idea to destroy the chest. But sometimes, why am I making so much noise as I move? I have a feeling it's not me. Sweet, sweet alcohol! I kind of feel a bit confused here. I, I'm sure there should be some more enemies. I'm just going to run around and reveal the map. Because when you reveal the map, you can kind of see usually see enemy movements on the map. Uh, I've activated that one. I'm going to press A in front of that to put the wooden ring. You don't have to walk on treasure to pick it up. Ah, here we go, some more monsters. There's a question. Okay, uh, let's let's do this one zoomed in. Okay. Zoom back out. Uh, can we see any enemies on the map? You can't see anyone. Let's go and reveal some more map. Uh, nothing here. Let's keep going. If you look at the edge of the map, uh, you can see the sort of the darker areas that don't have the lighter edge. Are areas where you can still sort of go into and explore. And there's some loot there. Let's pick up that. Ah, 
money. <laughs> At least I, uh, I I haven't spent it. I'm not spending it all on fines anymore. There's a little bit of unrevealed area down here. And money. There's a treasure chest down there. Let's get the treasure chest. Oh, and it got a sock with a stone. What a wonderful weapon. And there's something else there. That's bronze twist. And more sweet alcohol. Okay, almost revealed all the areas around here. Microphone Sound muted. muted. Sorry about that, forgot to mute things. Uh, okay, I'm going to quickly run. Where is an area where... Ah, there's one in the... An area in the middle I haven't quite finished exploring yet. So let's go... Up here. Ah, this is what I'm talking about, about how... There may be traps. This switch is basically just activate traps in the ground. So if I step out, uh, I get jumped on. Thankfully most traps don't do that much damage. Ah, Grim! He's been fighting for me. Okay, this is some weird guy who just wanders around. He's in a lot of the areas, just randomly... Randomly attacking things. Got to be more enemies. One of the sort of things is enemies move. Partly now I don't need to heal. I'm just chopping these down. They, they let me see where I'm going better. Okay, a little bit more area to ah there. We go. Um, and let's shotgun him. Now the first time you press shotgun, it's gonna. Uh, put you into aiming mode, and you can see this sort of red area where it'll take effect. <laughs> Second time, you'll actually attack him. Now, I'm gonna move because I kinda want a big bad to be able to attack him too. Partly because, like that, big bad can tank some of the damage. Okay, cool. Mission complete. I'm just gonna quickly see on my map are there any areas I can still explore? There's a little bit more area down here. And that's basically it. Everywhere explored. Now, if I look at the map, it shows me loot. M m the loot that I left was just sort of the odd twig. So I'm not going to pick up the loot. What I am going to do uh, before we go any further is I'm going to look at my equipment. So I'm going to sort my inventory. Now I've got this bomb. Uh, now I've also got s more bombs of the same type, so I can just drop them straight on. I might instead, though, want to use a spike bomb because they do more. They have a bigger blast area. Actually, no, I'm going to save those for later. Uh, what else have I got? Uh, we got a wooden ring that gives me two earth damage. So let's equip that. A bronze twist that gives me an extra air defense. We've got a sock with a stone. Now that's a level 8 item. I don't think I can equip that. I didn't look at my... Oh, I'm only level 5. Okay, buckshot shotgun cartridges and birdshot. I think birdshot are the ones I've already got, so I'm going to drop them on the same stack. But I'm going to use the buckshot. I might sell those later, but sometimes ammo is a bit hard to come by, so I'm not going to waste that yet. Okay, so we've re-equipped everything we found. Uh, I'm also going to go into the inventory screen and I'm going to drop these on my hotbar. Uh, and I'm going to put these in a specific order so that I don't have to come back into the menu and remember them. 24% HP reduces mana. So basically the order I've put them in is the biggest amount of HP restored on that end and the smallest on that end sort of versus um, these ones having mana cost too. So the higher value ones are on the left, I want to save those for, you know, if I get swarmed or something like that. Whereas these ones, they're pretty shit, but I could probably spam them. 
Uh, and we've also got an antidote. I'm going to equip that, though it's not, unless you're on a particular area, you're not likely to get poisoned. And I think everything else is just items for later. This is animal drop-ins. <laughs> this is. I I've, sometimes you pick these up, but sometimes they just randomly get added to your inventory. It's like uh, Robin is cleaning up after Big Batch. She's a responsible dog owner. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, this game can be quite buggy, and I've noticed that the the most common bug is when you head back to your hometown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save and quit now, and we will come back for we will come back for the next Let's Play just as we go back to our hometown. So I'm going to save and quit. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching, guys. See you all soon. Bye bye.